Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Rocket Slime. So, we unlocked Mount Krakatrota as a new world, however, we're not going there just yet. Hmph, we cannot allow the pub to take the wise and noble crackpot from Mount Krakatrota. So we could go there, but we also still have nine slimes left in the Forward Forest who need our help. We're going to Forward Forest, and we're going to clean things up. Now that we have a tank, we can go back here, and there, there should be some new stuff for us to do. Hey! What's that slime chest doing open? I bet it was that Fruit Warrior guy. I'm scared, boss. What with Swivel and this fella? Those slimes are getting a bit too big for their slurps. Never mind that now, boss. We better check out the other chests. I reckon we should keep going and make sure that slime ain't got to him. Now you're talking, Babbo! Wise Guy and Babbo are back again. They're some of my favorite characters. Alright. So in addition to just picking stuff up and throwing them back, we've got new areas to explore in the forest. Hi, Meow. Honestly, we should have almost all the cats we need back in town at this point. So if we go up here... Hey! How comes you're the only one sunning yourself up there, Babbo? I'll get the rope down to you in a sec, boss. I'm doing my best. I'm pretty sure we left some slime chests at the top of this rope before. I need to get up there fast and check him out. Get to it, Babbo! I ain't got all day. There's no way of pulling the rope back up again. I guess we'll just have to hope that Fruit Warrior slime ball don't come our way. Yep, so they lowered the rope for us, so we can now use that to get up to a brand new area in the forest. Let's explore some more, shall we? So first up, we got a slime chest up here. It's Speckles the Spotted Slime. Hello, Rocket. Thanks for letting me out. There are more of us up ahead. Have you managed to rescue Stardust yet? I have, as a matter of fact. Oh, we got wooden arrows lying out. This is also, I believe, the only point in the game where you can actually, like... Th that's one of the few points in the game where wooden arrows actually spawn. So if you want wooden arrows, you're gonna have to come to Four Wood Forest. Alright. And that is a new enemy, that's a bunnicorn. It's like a bunny mixed with a unicorn. If we get close to it, he'll charge us down, and he can hurt a decent amount. We're gonna leave him alone for now. Let's go this way. These rectangle rooms that you can see, these are like always tank battle rooms. So let's go and we'll take these back to town. These woods are real peaceful and quiet, huh? The perfect place for a catnap. Boigler. <laughs> I ain't gonna let no schmo like you ruin the place. We'll settle this with a tank battle. Do you want to blow on the warrior flute? Yeah. I'll scratch that no good tank of yours to pieces. We got three tanks on their side, but that's okay. We've got guys on our side. Shumi and Tank, the hero rides again versus the persecutor. Look what the cat dragged in. Battle stations, fire and whirl! Alright, first thing we're gonna do is... Alright, Baron Bob is gonna use the upper cannon, and Huey is go gonna fire himself with the enemy, Swatsy's gonna lose the use the lower cannon. That sounds good. It's time someone snuffed you out, squoit. So I'm gonna be on cannon duty for a bit. And if all things start going well, then I'll go over to their tank. So yeah, you can see Huli just shot himself out of the cannon. And unfortunately, he got knocked out of the air. But that's alright. And now our guys will kind of talk to us while they're in our tank. So they've got really bad ammo from the looks of it. They've got like all these fire waters, which don't actually damage us. Yeah, Baron Blubba! Carrying uh, three of them on his head. 
Ooh, Oracle come, yes please. That's the one thing though, having crew members means you can't really elast a blast all that easily in your tank because you might hit them. Oh, I adore the tank battle music though, it's so good. If I elasto blasted upwards, I would have ran right into Baron Blubba. Alright. So we're doing really well. My guys are doing great on the cannons. And it's actually, we're kind of. Uh, oh, hi, Huey. Yeah, sorry. That's why you can't elasto blast everywhere. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break into their tank and basically just harass them so they can't fire out of their cannons. So first, we're gonna elasto blast like a ton into their door. If we elasto blast enough times, it's gonna temporarily break them open. Fiddlesticks, the baddies are here! Thank you, Swatsy. I could send Huli to do this, but he doesn't do nearly as good a job as I will. There we go. Force them open briefly. I'm going to destroy that computer. Now I can get in whenever I want. Alright. So yeah, as you can see, their fire water is breaking all over the place and making it so that they can't easily pick up ammo. If I destroy all these computers, it's going to set fire to their conveyor belts. Actually, that was a bad thing to do, because now, now their stuff is just going to burn and get knocked right into the cannons. Oops! And now I'm going to take out a piece of ammo that we threw. Oh, jeez. So yeah, as you can see, their doors are just glitching open and closed all the time now. Destroy them. So destroying their computers is usually a good idea, but I guess not at the top of the floor. I'm basically just going to stay here and elasto blast into them, so that way they can't throw stuff in their tank. So Huli just dealt 15 damage because he shot himself out of the cannon. Oh great, and Baron Blood is now not shooting stuff out of the cannon because there's a bad guy in the, our tank. And they got rid of them. Good. Thank you, Baron Blubba. Yeah, once you defeat the enemies in the tank battle, they're just going to respawn, but it takes a bit of time for them to do so. Oh, stretch it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so if you do this, it's basically a slow but effective way of just winning tank battles. You stay in the tank and just do your best to knock enemies out of your way and so they can't throw stuff out of the tank. And you basically can't lose. Oh yeah, here comes the good stuff. Holy water, steel broadsword, bombshell hooey. That's enough. You think you're the cat's whiskers, huh? Yeah, I do. So now, as you can see, the door was in their way. It just blew up. So we can go in here and just destroy their tank. And kabam. Nice job, gentlemen. And we get fire water as a reward. It stinks. And another heal slime comes out. Sheila. Hooray for Rocket. I'm so fortune lucky. Okay. You were super fab during that tank. Oh, you were in the Schleeman tank? Wow. Yeah, that was me. It was all me. So much for cats having nine lives. Did we just kill that cat? All right. So now we've got some letters to deal with. Speckles first. Hello, Rocket. I'm writing this letter from under the mural in the palace. You like painting, right, Rocket? I'd love to see one of your pictures one day. Oh, and he's giving us fire water, too. Try not to smash and burn. You find some fire water. I'm so happilicious to be home again. Thanks, Among Us, for saving me. I'm so luckful that you've rescued me. I'm slim-ecstatic to be back in town. 
Smile Tastic? Smile Static? I don't know. And we get a wooden arrow. Alright. Whatever. <laughs> not great. Not terrible. Hey, Bunnicorn, get over here. Oh, yeah. That's upwards. So we got a ladder up there that we can't reach. Hurry up and give it a push, you big baboon! I want to see this cart moving pronto! You should be able to get it rolling from up there, wise guy. Really, now? It wouldn't hurt you to do something for yourself once in a while. Don't you get it, babo? I'm doing this for your own good. It's training! So enough of the mumbling already, and get pushing! Okay, boss. Sorry, boss. You holding on? Wow. Are you trying to kill me, you bird brain? That was a pretty rough ride, I tell ya. Now hurry up and get your one-tailed butt over here! Uh-oh. Looks like I made the boss mad again. Well, that looks like fun. So what we can do is we can hop up here, then just inch ourselves forward. And roller coaster ride. Return to town? Uh, no. Oh, it's Jumpy the s the jumping slime. Thanks for saving me. I owe you one. You should lower that rope before you go. It'll make things a lot easier next time you're here. Alright. Nothing up there in the trees? Alright. And Jumpy is going away. Cool. Alrighty. Thanks for setting me free, Rocket. Now, I can jump about again. I was jumping for joy, and I ended up all the way at the top of a tree. I found this up there, and I thought it might be useful. You can keep it. Why are there all these breaks in their conversation? Ooh! Steel broadsword! You received a mysterious recipe. What could it be? Alright. So before we explore the new area, we're gonna, yep, lower that rope. Also, there was a treasure chest or two over here. Yeah, this one. Ooh, it has a wooden arrow inside. That's another spawn location for a wooden arrow. It'll always spawn there if the chest is in sight. But like I said, farming wooden arrows, or grinding on them, I guess I should say, it's a, it's quite tedious. Which is why I'm actually kind of happy that the slimes give you so many of them at the beginning of the game. For rescuing them, of course. Alright, throwing those on the cart, and we're going down here. Ooh, an oaken club! Yes, please. That's a spawn location for them as well. Ooh, and catnip. Alright, let's start by lowering this rope. That'll come in handy for the future. Alright. Another rail cart ride, yeah! Ouch! That's not good. So there's a wall in the way we need to blow up. Change the order of fiends, and... Excellent. Now that we've blown up that barricade, I think rail carts should start spawning in one of these places. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so you're probably wondering how we can get that chest off the cart, because we can't just last a blast into it. Wow! Holy cow! Oh, the cat's in love with us, because we have catnip. So, we basically, it's stuck there. We can't do anything with it, but we want to put it over there. 
the bunnicorn's like, what the heck? And then the cat's like, oh yes, I love catnip. Alright, so we'll have to do something about that in a bit. That leads to a dead end. Let's hop on this cart. Eh, eh. So if we ride one cart into another cart, it actually breaks up, and... yeah! Whoa! Where did you come from? It's Plopstar! Thanks! I thought I'd be stuck in here forever! It's lonely just singing to yourself. Starford needs rescuing just up there, too. Don't forget him! I will do my utmost not to forget him. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna inch this cart down. Now that we cleared the blockade, we can go this way and destroy the cart that we pushed over out. We'll throw the bunnicorn away. Ooh, haven't you grown? Did you get help Plopstar down there too? Yeah, he's right underneath you. Now the rail carts start appearing. Wonderful. Now we've got a rail system in place. Thanks for rescuing me, Rocket. You're a star. You will save my friends as well, won't you? Scrape for the skies. We get a girder. I can't tell you how nice it is to be back home in my comfy slippers again. I was starting to worry I'd go from star-shaped to square-shaped in that box. Oh ho, another interesting one. You receive a mysterious recipe, what could it be? I promise you the recipes will come into play later in the game. Alright, as much as I want to explore the area over to the left... Well... I will explore that area, but first I'm waiting for y you. There's some more stuff to be explored down here. Like those two chests. Seed of life. I knew one of these had it. More health! Yeah! And a wooden arrow. Alright, so I think three wooden arrows spawn in the forward forest. So if you're ever low on supplies, that's where you need to go. I like how this rail cart keeps respawning, it's quite nice. We can also jump off the cart prematurely. Now we kind of just gotta wait here for a new cart to spawn. I wish the carts spawned at a more frequent rate on this rail here. Come on, I haven't got all day. There we go. Oh, Drackies! Tank battle up ahead. <laughs> Guaco Moly. That's an amazing name. So you're Rocket, huh, kiddo? Ready to fight Doity? Yeah, I am. Blue Mole. That looks cool. This is the Shuiman tank that's all been that they've all been talking about, huh? <laughs> Good luck, kiddo. Two moles in him! We've got the Chrono Twigger! Its bark is worse than its bite. Double pun! Love it. Battle stations! Fire at will! So let's start the round like last time. I'm gonna stay in the tank this time, just because I think that'll go faster. Also, I believe the moles can only fire out of the top cannon. So, I mean, if you want, we could just constantly throw stuff out of the bottom cannon. That might be a better strategy. Baron Boba, why are you not picking free things up on your head? Wow, yeah. It's a mean fighting machine you got there. 
but one medicinal herb from the Chrono Twigger, and I'm ready to rock and roll. So he just had a medicinal herb fall off of his tree. He can now pick that up, and if he throws it out of his tank, that'll actually refill his tank's HP. Thankfully, however, we can get rid of his tank's HP way faster than he can recover it. One medicinal herb only recovers 20 HP. Ha! I'm invincible with my own medicinal herbs! Oh, you think I'm not gonna beat you? Is that it? I assure you, you're quite mistaken. Boom! He's gone. And hey, if I do this right, I might actually get a perfect tank battle where I don't take any damage. Oh, he's fast! Yeah, I think I'll get a perfect match. Perfect match! They never damaged me! We actually get a special victory message if we do that. Sublime! And we get a, medic a medicinal herb. That's nice. Thank you. Oh, it's another Baron. Earl Luminum. I heard the most deafening booming while I was trapped in there. What was going on? Well, anyway, thank you for saving me. Much obliged. Metal Keen Slimes. They are awesome. Holy guacamole! The two tailors ain't supposed to lose to the likes of you! Believe it. Alright. Hey, Luminum. Thanks for saving me, boy! Much appreciated! I found this while I was cooped up in that box. I thought you might find it useful. Oh, another strange recipe for iron arrows. Alright, so we've got two giant ropes that we can take down. We're going to take the one on the left first, because that takes us to a slime. It's another bat slime, George. Are you making good use of the R button? Don't forget you can use it to change the order of the fiends you're carrying. Yeah, I knew that. I wish I could have done that, because when I played this on my DS originally, my DS's R button was broken. Like, it was... It wouldn't work, so... I couldn't use the R button, which sucked for Mario Kart, I can tell you that. Yes! It's perfect! I still say it's far too easy. Even a slime could figure it out. No one will figure out that this statue is a clue how to open the door. It's perfect, I tell you. No one will ever know. Anyone would know if they looked hard enough. You worry too much, bunnikins. It ain't gonna happen. Yikes, it's him. That means it's fight time. So yeah, if you stack items on your head in the exact order that's on the statue, then stand on the ever pedestal, the door will open. However, I've got other stuff on my head right now, so I need to find a rail card to put this on. The game is quite generous with the rail cards, I will say. Thankfully. Good design. Get on there. Alright. So we need a chest and a pom-pom and then a bunicorn. Hey, George. I may not look the part, but I'm actually one of Sliminia's art aristocracy. Aristocracy, my bad. I'm very grateful to you for what you've done to save my family line, Rocket. I'm sending you a small token of my appreciation. I hope it comes in handy. It's a wooden arrow. Why not? It's still World 1, so the prizes they give you aren't great. Except the recipes, which are very good. Alright. So, yep, we've lined it up like this and step on the pedestal, and we match perfectly with the other statue. Oh, and there's a chest down here. Whoops. And the door opens permanently. Very nice. What's in this chest? We can jump over these logs. We don't really need the pom-pom. 
Ooh, it's a nice slime-colored slime. Guzana. Hey, are you picking up items along the way? I hope you're not, like, slacking off. You should so collect lots of fiends. It'll be worth it. All right. Money, money, money. So now we can enter this and create a shortcut. Woot! Yeah! You are like so cool for rescuing me. It's really neat to be home. You should so come explore around town sometimes too. It's fun. And we are busy boasting. We'll leave us boasting. We walk away with a wooden arrow. All right. So we have one slime left, and it's down here. You may remember that if you go through here, there's a statue. We need Bunnicorn, Jailcat, Bunnicorn. So it's a second statue set. Now here's the fan. Because it's still nighttime, finding a Jailcat actually might be kind of tricky. So we got two Bunnicorns up here. These are the ones we're going to need. Jump through the portal, and we're back here. Cool. I believe there's a jail cat that spawns here regardless of time of day. Yep, jail cat up there. Alright. Hey, that's not very nice. Change the order so the jail cat's in between the two, because the order does matter. And the door opens. Very nice. Last tank battle, which means last slime as a reward. <laughs> it's Patty Puss. Well, if it ain't Rocket, I'm not gonna let no slime of me get the better of me, sweetheart. Oh wait, that's definitely a female Platy Punk. Whoops. I always give the Platy Punks like that yo sound. Ha! Huh, that Schleeman tank ain't no match for me, honey. He's got, f she's got three Bunnicorn partners. It's the Carrot Top. A real hair razor. I love it. And this is actually a vastly different tank from the others we've seen. Because of that giant horn on it. Don't think I'm a pushover just because I'm a gal. Yeah, we gotta watch out for that horn. Inside their tank will be a switch. If they press that switch, then it's gonna launch the horn. And it's basically a more powerful piece of ammo. If it launches, it'll go on the lower cannon trajectory path. And if it hits us, it'll make it so we can't use our cannons for like 10 seconds, and it will like rapidly damage us. So if they fire it, yeah, it's best to just take it out. Get out of here, Swatsy. No, we took damage. So who is gonna be live bait? Alright, oh hey Bunnicorn, I don't like that. Baron Blubba, watch it! You just sat on me! Baron Blubba, you are the worst bodyguard ever. You're fired. <laughs> just stick to using the cannons. Ouch! Swatsy, what the heck? You deserve that. Better get you-know-what ready to roll. Okay, my partners are not doing me justice. Thank you, Blubba. I cannot wait till I can get someone better than Swatsy and Huli in my tank. Baron Blubba is actually normally pretty good. I don't know why he decided to sit on my head a few times. Hey, we still got you-know-what up our sleeves. My Oracolcum, no! Oh, hey, Blubba. You enjoying yourself?
This don't look too good, but I ain't beaten yet. So now I think they're gonna launch the horn. You know what? I think my partners have got this. I'm gonna infiltrate their tank now. And yep. Yeah, sir, don't let him at the engine, men. Hey, are you schmucks listening to me or what? Hurrah, now go over and destroy their engine. Yep, how do you like the death carrot, huh? Yeah, one horn a day, okay? That's the switch you gotta press. They also have spikes in their tank. Oh great, Swatsy's the only one who's shooting stuff out of their lower of the lower cannon. So their horn is probably going to hit us, but that's okay, we still have like 200 HP left. Woohoo! Not this time, hon. We win the match! Oh yes, PS1 cruise, I love those. Oh, pink heel slime, tickled pink. No, get away from me, the plob's not taking me prisoner again. Oh, it's you, Rocket, you saved me! Wow, you're so amazing. Yowzer, this ain't the way things was meant to be. Don't really feel sorry for you, Patty. Thanks so much for rescuing me, Rocket. I'm sending you a little thank you present. I hope you like it. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Core blimey, we got ourselves an oaken club again. <laughs> Alright, so that's actually it for Forward Forest. We've saved everybody. Before I leave, what I want to do is collect some more monsters. What you can do is you can open your monster list. I'd like to get three more Jail Cats. I'd actually like to get as many Mischievous Moles as I can. Maybe a few Drakis and some more Platy Punk and Bunnicorns. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, if you press Y, you'll return and it'll leave it open on the top screen. So I can use this to get what I need. So for Bunnicorns, what you want to do is go this way. So you can get some platy punks, but also there are bunnicorns up here. There are free bunnicorns, to be exact. So you can basically pick up free bunnicorns, go over here, throw them on a cart, do something else for a little bit, come back, get free more bunnicorns. You can do it free at a time, and this is a good way to get them quickly. You, Mr. Jail Cat, you can go over here. All right, I need two more jail cats and some more platy punks. Because once I have 30 jail cats, something good happens eventually. There we go. That's all the jail cats I need. While I'm over here, might as well go down this well. Because there are drakies down here, and I'd like to get some of them as well. Three Drakis down here. You can also just wait for it to be night, and you, they're just everywhere. Wow, you guys suck. Man, Platy Punk, not doing very hot, are you? This is by far the best place to get moles. Just wait till you're surrounded. Let him jump out. A last a blast, and you're gonna get free molds. Now what we can do is we can take this well shortcut. Take this peewing shortcut. Or just teleporter. Go up here, throw him on the cart, rinse and repeat. So this is a great way you can alternate moles and bunnicorns really easily to here. Get the bunnicorns up here, take the shortcut back, and the moles will respawn. Once you get the moles back, the bunnicorns will respawn. It is grindy, yes. But it's not nearly as bad as some of the enemies you gotta grind on. Look at it, you ghosts. Alright, as you can see, I now have 30 of every type of monster that appears on this level. So at this point, I am free to go whenever I want. I basically farmed the Platypunk that appeared here in the daytime, as well as there was one that appeared by the Bunnicorns in the daytime. The Drakis just appear all over the place at night. 
The moles appear down here in plentiful numbers, but jail cats appear all over in the second room, and then the bunnicorns appear near the first statue puzzle that we find. So before I leave, I'm actually going to go through here. And I'm going to show off that we can actually fight the bosses more than once if we want to. So here's Bowbreaker again. Bowbeater, I'm sorry. Back again, are you? Don't expect me to hold out an olive branch. I won't let anyone get away with disturbing my sleep. Music is too good. I've had enough of this. Uh, no, not again. I seem to have become a real sap. Love the puns in this game. They're so good. I mainly did that because I wanted the money. I'll just be honest. And also to show off that, yes, this does take us back to the main town. Everyone saved! And we get Aura Colcom as a prize. Nice. Yep! A lot of monsters. And again, that's not going to do anything right now, but once we unlock a certain slime, it will. Oh, hey, Hooey, what are you doing in my house? The fate of all Slamenia lies in our hands. Everyone's depending on us. Hey, how cool does that sound? Now we're real heroes. I feel like I don't know what give voice to give Hooey. I feel a bit bad about that. My house is pretty empty. No more iron balls got moved. Yeah, that's alright. I got lots of slimes to talk to. Ghost is still by himself over there? Alright. Oh, a lot of stars here now. Thanks for saving me! I've got some of my old twinkle back now that I'm home again. It's good to see you back safe in Boinberg again. I hope the others are all okay too. I'm sh I'm super happified to be back in town. It's wonderlicious. My Glooperior takes the care of saving adventure logs at the church. And Splodgy Dave runs the shop. <laughs> I know lots of good stuff, don't you think? I already knew that first one. Hello there, Rocket. I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's washing day today. I just love sensitive men. You know, the kind that help out with the housework and stuff. Wait, is that a girl? My bad if that's a girl. Oh, it's you, Rocket. Thanks for coming to my rescue before. Bounced off the turkey leg, yeah. Oh, I hope you got, or uh, received the recipe I enclosed above my letter. I haven't done any cooking in, like, forever, but I'm gonna be so good at it. I'm going to swipe the food from that pot. I should be able to reach it. I can jump really high. Okay. Good for you. Let's see if anybody's now in the second part of town, or if this doesn't actually get filled up till we go to Mount Krakatroda. Still pretty deserted. But that happy music is so good. Once we get the museum, we're gonna find out what... Yeah, alright. So until we save the owner of the museum, we can't actually get any benefits from saving monsters. Apart from them appearing as NPCs in your town. That's alright. Before we save, gotta go here. So you first off, you... Still can't afford the muscly HP up. Oh man, should not have brought, bought the Udrasa leaf. That's alright. Alright, I've got some a little few 
better pieces of ammo now. Two Oracle comes, definitely. Steel Broadsword, Medicinal Orb, that'll help. Two BS1 Cruises, Holy Water, Free Girders. Fire Water doesn't damage anything, so we're not taking those. Four Oaken Clubs. Two Rock Bombs. We can have some Obelisks as well. I really don't like how breakable the Obelisks are, so that's good. Thank you. Alright, that is going to do it for this episode of Rocket Slime. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Arty. Actually, if there are more people in the church... Nope, there's not. Alright, so that's really actually going to do it for this episode. So, if you tune in next time, we will actually go to the New World, Mount Krakatrona. That's going to be an interesting one, for sure. A lot of stuff in that world, and a lot of new stuff gets introduced in that world. So, look forward to that. So, I hope to see you next time. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great day. And, as always, God bless you, my slime.